Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to share with you guys products that I have repurchased a zillion times. These are products that literally as I look at my little stash, I think I have bought those so many times and I love them. I love them as much as the first time I used them and I never feel bad spending money buying them again because they're ones that like if I were in the dark and I had to grab any one of these to use and to use for the rest of my life, I would be like, that's fine because they're products I love enough to keep buying over and over again. This video is a collab with my friend Cassie, Shades of Cassie. I am, I never do collabs. Like, I think I've done it, I can count on one hand how many times I've done it in the like three years that I've been on YouTube. Is it going on four years? I feel like, I, I think it's because I'm just picky and I, I am picky about who I subscribe to here on YouTube because if I get annoyed a lot with the person, I'm like, bye, bye Felicia. Remember, remember bye Felicia. I'm just really picky and Cassie's someone that I remember I started watching her before, I think it was before I started my YouTube channel, I don't remember, or it was really early on and I just liked her because she's just like chill, I like the way she explains things and that girl's got a lot of makeup. But I remember she also did a declutter for a while and I loved watching that. This was like years ago. I'm going through the history of Shades of Cassie's channel. Um, but I got to meet her for like a blip of a second at the event, the Too Faced Sweet Peach event in LA in December, was that December? And she was so sweet and she was with Laura from um, Mrs. Lola Lynn here on YouTube. They were both just sweet and I could just tell, like you know when you meet someone you can just tell their aura, is just, they're just a good soul. Well, I could just tell that, honestly, about both of them. But um, I just love her to death, and I love her channel. So definitely check her out. I really think you're going to like her if you like my style of video, because like I said, she's just really chill and easy to watch, and she's always buying new stuff. But she's doing the same video, and I'm excited actually to see her video, because I'm curious about what she's repurchased, because I've bought a lot of things on her recommendation. Oh, and of course, classic collab style, if you're new to my channel and you came from her channel, what's up? I hope that you'll subscribe. Okay. Shut up, Jess. All right, the first thing I've repurchased over and over and over and over and over again is this It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. I've, I already have another one on backup. This is the one I'm using currently. It is um, this three-in-one black primer for your mascara or for your lashes. It's this insanely tiny wand with tiny, tiny baby bristles. The idea is that it, it totally separates your lashes. You could use this alone. Like if you coat this on like three or four times, your lashes are like just like separated and fanned out, curled and black. But I always use this truly as a mascara primer, but I like it because it's not white. So there's no chance of it like showing underneath, but I'll just use it and really, really push my lashes up and separate them. And I'll use it for my lower lash line especially. And I'll, this is like the only thing I use on my lower lash line because it's so good for that. And then I'll pile on another mascara. One of my favorites is the It Cosmetics Superhero. It's unbelievable. Blew me away. But anyway, um, it's so, so good. Now, I do have a dupe for this. And I filmed it, gosh, it was like a year ago. Um, but I'll link that if you're curious about a cheaper version of this. But I, I still end up going back to this one a lot because I love it so much. I'm drinking coffee. You guys need to tell me if I start getting little like bat wings over here. Um, okay, so a lip gloss that I love that I've purchased like four times is this NYX beige lip gloss. It was like an old classic back in the day, but it does smell like cherry, so if you're sensitive to smell, you won't love this. But it's this really pretty pink, but when you put it on your lips, there's something about it that just makes your lips look so healthy and put together, you don't, it doesn't look messy or sloppy like some lip glosses can, especially lip glosses that do have color like this. It just looks so perfect. The packaging is simple, but I love the little bow on top. And it's just a pretty lip gloss. It makes your lips look kind of pillowy soft, and it doesn't really highlight any imperfections. It's, it's a really good gloss. I've tried other shades in that range that I've liked, but this is the one that like I just keep rebuying the same shade. I had my hair in a ponytail and it was giving me a headache. <laughs> so I had to take it down. I just filmed my January favorites and flops and I, I had to take it down, my head was pounding. <laughs> okay, this is probably the fifth one of this I bought. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I've had the brightening shade and I really like that as well, but I've noticed on my skin tone, I actually just decluttered it in my concealer declutter, which I don't know if that's up yet or not. But I just kind of realized that that one, it was a pinky tone, which is nice on some skins, but on skins, oh my. But on mine, it just kind of looked, 
very pink and it didn't really mesh with my warmer ish skin tone but this one i have an ivory i think this one's really nice i have the ysl one that this is supposedly a dupe for and i think these are pretty close i do think the actual consistency this is thicker than the ysl and a little bit honestly more opaque so i don't think they're exact dupes but i do think they're very very similar and the after effect is very similar where it's just you know, very brightened, semi-perfected. It's not like a high coverage concealer, but this is one of those that when I'm in a rush, I slap it on, I can blend it in with my fingers and it looks really nice. So I really like that. Highly, highly recommend. I'm filming at Disney Hall today as well. So if you love Disney, like I do, I love Disney. So the next one that I've repurchased a lot is this e.l.f exfoliating lip balm or whatever you want to call it. This one's the cherry one. They have like a mint one. They have a brown sugar one. When I first tried this like years ago, I hated it because you would rub it all over your lips and it would kind of exfoliate. But the next time you went to use it, it'd be like all the lip balm around it would be gone. And so then a lot of you guys were like, Jessica, you idiot, just put lip balm on and then use it and it'll be fine. I'm like, oh, that's pretty smart. Well, that worked for a while, but I feel like they reformulated it since then and it's got a lot more of that balmy texture, so it works really well. I can use it all the way down to the bottom and it's great. It's a couple dollars. You have options, like if you'd rather have mint. I think I think the cherry one might be my favorite. They, I don't know, they keep coming out with new ones, but it's very kind of sugary feeling. It really does a great job just to get those dead skin, skin cells off and it, I always travel with it because if I'm traveling for, we travel all the time, I feel like this is one of those staples that I have to have with me because once a week I need it for, you know, my lips. So love it. This one I love, but I, I, ta I go between two different shades. This is the MAC Pink Pot and Painterly. And I'm, I've almost hit pan on it. This is probably the third one of these. I love it. I also like soft ochre. I've done a comparison video like if you are cool tone versus warm tone. Well, I'm technically more warm tone if you see me like in real life. Um, and this is a little bit more cool tone. They both totally work really well. And again, I can link that video if you're kind of curious to see what it actually looks like when you put it on. But it's just this nice, uh, almost concealer-like pot. But it's an eye primer. And this one almost has like a grayish mauve tone. And I thought it would be too dark for my skin, but it's not. So if you've been not biting the bullet because you thought it'd be too dark for you, it won't be. I don't know how to describe it, but it, it really does a great job of canceling out discoloration on your eyelid all the way up to your brow bone. It holds on to shadow really well. I just love it. I just recommended this to a coworker actually the other day and she bought it. So hopefully she's loving it. But the soft ochre one is really nice too. It's just more yellow. It might be a tinge lighter, but it's almost hard to compare because they're totally different tones. So you can't really compare. I love them both. When I run out of this one, I'm probably going to use my soft ochre one up because since this one's older, I've been trying to use it up. But eventually, I don't know which one I would buy again because I like them both so much. So I'll have to really think about that. I think the soft ochre one, but painterly is so good. But like I said, if you're trying to decide between the two, check out my video. Clearly it didn't help me though because now here in the future, I still can't decide between the two. <laughs> All right, this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, I keep going back to, and I've tried a lot of drugstore versions and I like them. Like Milani has a good clear brow gel with a really small spoolie, but there's something about this one that is like hairspray for your brows. So actually I didn't use, I haven't used it in a while because I've been using more like pomades and I feel like I haven't really needed it, but uh, cause it kind of just naturally holds itself in place. But this stuff is like hairspray for your brows. It's just, it, it's a league above a lot that I've tried. If you have found a drugstore version that you think holds as well as this one does, let me know below. Because I am curious. Like the NYX Control Freak one is nice, but I don't think it's as strong as this. It's still nice though. Next thing I've repurchased a lot is my It Cosmetics CC Cream. I know everyone on YouTube talks this to death. Guys, there's a good reason. It took me a long time to finally try this because it was kind of annoying to hear everyone talk about it. I'm like, okay, it can't be that good. And like... Some people are sponsored or maybe it was sent to them. Well, I've both bought this on my own and had it sent to me. Um, this one I bought because I love it so much. Like I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, I get it. It's something that's actually good for your skin, but it also actually is an amazing foundation. It's called a CC cream. Guys, it's a foundation. I mean, it literally goes on. It covers like a foundation. So if you've been like, no, I don't want it because it's going to be like a BB cream where it doesn't really, you know, it kind of looks good, but it doesn't. No, this stuff makes your skin look flawless. 
So I think the packaging is really cool. It's great for the product that it's, you know, you're not touching it. It's got a pump and it's a squeezy tube. So you'll actually probably use it all up and you won't like with a glass jar. Oh, those make me crazy. I love it. I have it in the shade light, which is a really good match for me. They do have one lighter called Fair, which is just a little bit too light, and medium is definitely too dark. I wish they had a bigger shade range, but I do love this product so much. I've tried the illuminating one, and I do like that. I feel like it's a little bit too illuminating, so I usually will mix them. But I want to try it now that it's winter. I don't have a, an illuminating one in light. I have it in like medium, so I mix it with this. But I feel like if I got it in light, I might like it more because it'd be my shade. But I'm curious to see it just on its own in the winter when I have dry skin. Does that make sense? Anyway, but this stuff, amazing. And the finish, by the way, it's got pretty high coverage, medium high coverage. And the finish is just a really nice satin finish. It's not super dewy, but it's definitely not matte. It's kind of right in between. Makes you look lifelike, but perfected. Okay, next one I've bought a million times is this L'Oreal Lacquer Liner. It's a cream gel liner. I'm wearing it today. This is better. I was just talking recently in a video about the Stila Smudge Pot. And I love the Stila Liquid Liner. It's one of my favorites. And actually, I don't have it, but that's another one I've repurchased like 10 times. It's the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I love it. It's a felt tip eyeliner. So easy to do a wing with. Very black. I've bought it a million times. I just, I literally haven't repurchased it yet, but I love it. But this L'Oreal Lacquer Liner is the step I do before liquid liner. And I really do a thick line with it. It is so black. It doesn't move. You can even put it on, if you're not scared to, on your upper water line. And it will stay in place for a very long time and really black in that area. Um, I guess you can put it on your lower water line too. I just have it. Because it doesn't move. I mean, it's really not that different than like a gel pencil that you might use for that. Um, I love this stuff so much. It is one of the best drugstore products in the world. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely give it a go. And it, it comes with a decent brush, too. Oh, as usual, this video is going to be so long. I try to shorten them, and it never happens. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Again, doesn't this look silly and gimmicky? Well, that's what I thought. And then I saw the brush, and I'm like, no, that looks dumb. Like, it looks like, oh, it's kind of rubbery. It's got, you know, half of it is bristly and half of it's not. This stuff is amazing. I've talked it to death, so I won't talk about it for too long here. But it just really curls your lashes. It's the best at the drugstore I have found. The only thing I think that trumps it is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. But again, that's a pretty penny. And, it, you know, mascara you got to replace all the time. It's not like if you spend money on a palette and you get to keep it for a couple of years. So, honestly, this is the best at the drugstore. It just curls your lashes. It separates them, but it also adds volume when you use the side that has no bristles. So... It's a weirdly amazing mascara. I just wish the packaging weren't as silly. I know some people like it. I'm not like trying to offend you, but I, I just think it's silly looking. Okay. Actually, it kind of reminds me of like Saved by the Bell, like 90s mascara, which I guess, I mean, the 90s are cool again. All right, two more. So this Revlon Color Stay Whipped, I've honestly, I have more repurchased this because I've bought so many different shades because I... I, I don't know. I just have. And I feel like you have to replace it because it's in a jar. Like, that's not great for product. You know, you're getting bacteria in it. The light's getting in it. I mean, there's so many bad things about having products in jars. You know, and at least with skincare, like, skincare shouldn't be in a jar either. But so many of my favorite moisturizers are. And I wish they weren't. Like, if I could change one thing about it. Because it doesn't help keep the product stable inside of it, the ingredients in it. Um, and, of course, you're dipping your finger into it. So I wish all of them were in squeezy tubes. But... That would be how it would be if I ran the world. However, this is a really nice product. It gives a very kind of satin finish to your skin. I wore this on my wedding day. And if you're curious about um, the wedding day uh, products I use, I can link that below. But all of them were like products I freaking like live and breathe love. So I really like this. This is in the shade 200. I'll usually use a brush with this. I don't like the way this looks with the beauty blender. That's not true. I, I, I feel like I just go back and forth. But I think... Final verdict nowadays, I like it with a brush. Because I want to say I did a demo with a beauty blender, and I think it looked okay, but it definitely shears it out a little bit. But it's got really good coverage. You just got to be able to find your right shade in it. This is like my third one of these. I actually just decluttered it because I need to replace it because it goes bad. It has SPF in it, and so it actually has an expiration date, like the actual year and month written on it. But I feel like it's just time to replace. But this you can use as an all-over setting powder if you really want a nice glow to your skin. You could use it just as like a subtle highlight if you want. It's brightening. You could use it to set your under eye. I mean, it is such 
an all-in-one product. It definitely has a glimmer to it without using any glitter. It's just this really nice dewy look. It reminds me of my favorite Hourglass Dim Light Powder. Um, I've even talked about these being sort of dupes for each other because they have that same effect. Like I put this all over my face today and I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit more alive than it is um, typically and I just love it. So the Wet n Wild one, however, is way cheaper, way more product um, and it has SPF, which I just think is cool. So those are all of the products that I've repurchased a million times. Definitely subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope you'll check me out on my Snapchat and all my other social media, which is right there on the screen. And I hope that you'll check Cassie out as well and love her. Send her love. If you do check out Cassie's channel, definitely tell her I sent you. Tell her hi and send her some love. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.